Hello everyone, welcome back to the Excel 2016 training. In this video, we will take a look at how we can insert a text box, header footer, word art, a signature line and also an object. Here is the same workbook and let's jump right into it. The option to insert a text box is under the insert tab and on the ribbon if you look at the text group the very first one is the text box. When you click on the text box you would see this a vertical a cursor. Once you click there what you see is a small text box. You can resize it and you can enter some text there. Now you do have option to change the color, increase the size and the font type and you know make it bold. You can arrange it as well meaning you know, align it to the center you know left or right. Once you have it this is again not a cell it is pretty much like an object sitting on top of Excel. You can move wherever you want and you know you can yeah, maybe change this to the team. And let me make me change the color to green. Okay, um, right. well, that's how you use your text box. In addition, you also have many other things. The header footer, once you click there, you know, your layout changes a little bit. We we'll look at the views in a different video but um, what it is trying to do is you know add a header and a footer to your document so when you print it you would see the header on every page and on the footer on every page at the bottom uh, maybe you know you could include your project name company name any confidential text uh, as a disclaimer that you want to include uh, appropriately on the footer and things like that so that's how you insert. You can double click there and you can you know, start inserting stuff. And you can go to design. You can get creative with all this. You can include page numbers, time, file name, you know, sheet name, you know, things like that. Now, once this is done, go to view and select the normal view. Once you do that, you're back into your normal display that you're used to. We will look at uh, the views in a different video, by the way. Let's go to the insert again. Uh, next is the word art. Uh, word art again. It is uh, you know you can display a certain text uh, in a different artistic style. So maybe this could be your uh, you know header. Looks much more better, right? So. I have seen people using word art a lot more with uh, Microsoft Word than Excel. Generally in Excel you're all dealing with company data, you know, I mean to say the project data, numbers, crunching and extracting in the meaning out of the numbers. But sometimes you may want to add a little more color by adding little images and this word art. That's where this comes into picture. You can also add a signature line. Um, just create a signature or add a signature service and use it. You can also add an object by this. You know, when you click that, you have an option of adding the type of object. Say, for example, if I do a Microsoft Word, do OK. What it does is it launches, as you can see, the cursor is busy. It launches a Microsoft Word. And, uh, you know, this you can. This is a, and as you can see, you know, things for the background, it has changed a little bit. And when you click out, now you're, uh, you know, this thing is like an object. You can resize it a little bit, move it around. And whenever you double click there, it again switches to that, uh, uh, the word mode, meaning, you know, if you are familiar with Microsoft Word, probably you are familiar with the header a little bit. Things are a little bit different, uh, like uh, the header one, header two. You know, these options are. Uh, this menu is more, uh, you know, like bullet items. You know, numbering. That's more common to Microsoft Word. 
you click out again it switches back to Excel so that's how you can insert an object well that's it uh, in this video I will see you in the next